Welcome everyone uh, to this uh, session. I'm going to uh, go over the analog design closure with early prostic analysis using the Synopsis Custom design, design Platform. My name is Denis Guana and I'm a Director of Applications Engineering for the Syn Synopsis Custom Design Team. So traditionally, designers would create a schematic uh, and uh, perform the design stage, run a simulation early on, and once they are satisfied with the design uh, characteristics, at that stage and, and it satisfies the specification, then it would pass on the design to the layout team that would perform the layout implementation. The layout implementation would complete the layout and perform the peristic extraction that would then be looped back to the circuit simulation and, and make sure that uh, even with the peristic, the design uh, is compliant with the specification. That is unfortunately not working anymore at advanced nodes. There's a lot of peristic and a lot of electrical effects that are uh, occurring. And so we have got to find and uh, to provide new solution and to have a new approach um, to resolve uh, this problem. And with the uh, Synopsys uh, Customs and Platform, a custom compiler uh, solution in particular, uh, there are several aspects that we are introducing, the, the design intent. And so it's not only um, providing voltage information so that you're able to run InDesign EM during the layout implementation, not only the voltage information, which allows you to, to perform layout implementation that's VD or C aware, it's also electrical aspects such as a parasitic uh, effects so that you provide a budget to the layout team and they verify while doing the layout implementation that their wiring is honoring the budget. So this is the design intent. And, uh, uh, as you're implementing the layout, so you can make sure that your layout wiring is within that budget and also feed back that electrical information, capacitance and resistance information to the designer so that it can perform um, a simulation and, and verify the design as you're doing your layout implementation and not have to wait until the layout is complete in order to do that uh, stage. It doesn't prevent you from running the sign-off, so, so you would still run the sign-off flow uh, through the custom compiler platform, running ICD and star C to generate the SPF and then perform the complete layout simulation. We're going to uh, then dive into the details now about how to use those features for early parasitics with the star C engine, how to use uh, the functionality within the layout editor, and we'll introduce also a, a new aspect, which is partial layout extraction to leverage the sign of flow um, for early layout implementation, uh, taking those effects into account in the design. Uh, so let's talk about the, um, uh, the estimation. Uh, designers have the option of providing estimates manually, and that matches maybe what people have been doing at, at nodes where they were able to have fairly accurate uh, estimation by performing back of the envelope calculation, looking at uh, how long a wire was going to be, how wide it was going to be, on which layer it was going to be, and then using a linear model sheet resistance, they would calculate the, re the resistance using a, a approximate model for capacitance. It would also assess the estimation of, of uh, the capacitance uh, manually, or they would be using prior design knowledge as well, and then it would enter those manually. So that's always available. And, and we, we have that as a, as a basic functionality with our parasitic element from the parasitics library. But what we added on top of that is the ability to provide writing specifications. And the benefit of that is that you don't have to guess based on a poor modeling. You are having the ability to use a certified foundry uh, models and feed that into the system so that when you describe the wiring, it will use those uh, foundry models to perform the calculation using the star RC engine. And as you're making progress on the layout, then you will be able to update those parasitics using uh, actual layout, again, using the star RC engine and your process files. So let's go through uh, the demonstration now. We'll, we'll go over all of these features in that demonstration. I will be opening uh, the design a test bench uh, to start with and you can see here the custom compiler schematic editor uh, we are using a vco here and uh, we'll bring up the test bench into prime wave perform the netlist and simulation 
um, that's running the simulation on the uh, schematic without estimates uh, to start with. And you can see we calculate the frequency here, which is about 2.19 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and uh, start um, estimating the parasitics in the VCO design level itself. I'll start by estimating the capacitance, the copy capacitance between a couple of nets here, uh, P and out M. Um, and uh, what I'll do is that I'll, I'll estimate the, which layers I'm going to use and what the dimensions of the layers that I'm going to use. And as you can see, I'm using the star C engine here for the capacitance uh, estimation. Uh, so based on this writing specification, uh, layer, um, number of segments, uh, the width, the length, I'm able to get a, a calculated value using uh, star C engine and the process files from the foundry. So then I will insert those parasitic devices into the schematic. And similarly, I have the ability to estimate the total capacitance um, if I believe that uh, those nets are not going to be affected uh, as much by the coupling and just want to focus on the total cap, I have the ability to do that. Um, now let's go ahead and um, I calculate the resistance here. Again, I enter a writing specification. I stitch the resistance into the wire. And finally, the pi model that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so based on the same um, um, writing specification, or you can modify and adjust the writing specification to your best uh, um, understanding of what the layout is going to be, then you will be able to recalculate. So now I'll go ahead and perform the net listing and simulation with the schematic that includes the estimates. And uh, you'll see here the value of the frequency has evol evolved already. So it's 1.95 gigahertz. So right away, very quickly, you have the ability to see what how your, your design behavior changes. And if, if you are um, below your um, the performance you're looking for for your design and start making adjustments in your design to take that into account. Now, what we're showing here is that I've actually made progress in my layout. And so I make use of the layout that's been implemented for some of these key net, uh, whether I'm using the capacitance uh, under the hood to, re to update the value or whether I'm going to the layout to have a better handle as to which point I'm taking into account for the, um, for the resistance calculation, I can do it both ways, right? And, uh, and so the, really the ability to go to the layout and, and, and uh, select the specific points I want to take into account for the resistance calculation gives me more control over that calculation. So I've updated um, the parasitic devices using the uh, layout that uh, we've been implementing. So I'll rerun the simulation again with the estimated parasitics that uh, are refined using the preliminary layout. And again, as you can see, the impact on the frequency is, is seen right away. Um, and uh, it's at 1.79 gigahertz now. Uh, the final run I'm going to show you here is um, ignoring the parasitic devices, the estimated parasitic devices and running a post layout simulation flow with an SPFI that will have created from the sign off ICV plus star C flow. So I'll go ahead and choose the SPF. Um, I'm using a back annotation flow here using the simulator um, in order to complete this post layout uh, simulation stage. Uh, of course, as, as you can see, we're using the embedded uh, primary solution here that uh, helps us uh, uh, define the measurements, um, get the uh, feedback right away, and, and the waveform viewer is, is embedded within the platform. Uh, and you can look at the waveform as a tab or as a window. And here you go. The uh, possible simulation, as you can see, is, uh, is completed. And you see the impact on the, on the design as well. With, with that demonstration, we showed you the techniques that we're using within the schematic editor to estimate the parasitics, whether it's uh, with the running specifications or with the existing layout, and you can update the early estimates that you've done um, with the writing specification once you have the layout available. And with those techniques and those features, really uh, close the gap faster between design and layout implementation.